If you're wanting to manipulate UVs on your object, you're first going to want to make sure you have a UV projection property applied to your object. UV projection properties live within your clusters, uh, with a sample cluster specifically. Um, they live within sample clusters of your object. So if we select our object to open up the property tree and go down um, and look at the cluster folder, you can see that there are no clusters here, meaning that we have no UVs on our object. To apply UVs, simply select your object within uh, object mode, uh, go to property, texture projection, and pick your projection. So let's go ahead and just pick a basic projection, and you can see in this case uh, we applied the wrong projection, but a couple things happen. Uh, one, uh, if we go within our clusters folder, you can see that we have a samples cluster and a new texture, uh, texture projection property. If we open up this texture projection property, we have our texture definition, which has an input of our texture support. So um, that means if we um, uh, if we move our texture support around, it's going to manipulate our UVs. Now, the texture support itself is a 3D object within the scene. So if we go down here, we can see we have a texture support which is parented to the object that we're UVing. So we can grab this and move it around. You can see that it's effectively manipulating our UVs. Uh, in this case, you can see um, we definitely picked the wrong side. So if we were to select the texture support and then just hit enter, um, we get the texture support PPG open and we can change uh, our projection plane. So we can go ahead and go to uh, XZ, which should be the appropriate pl uh, projection plane. Uh, we can also change our projection methods, cylindrical, uh, spherical, uh, we go all the way down to cubic. Uh, the cubic projection is pr uh, particularly interesting since it has a layout parameter um, and it will take the different faces of the cubic projection and uh, lay them out specifically according to um, each preset. So in this case if we were to make an object that would make good use of the cubic projection so I'm just going to grab me a sphere let's uh, open it up Bam. see there's no projection we'll go property texture projection We'll throw a cubic on here, and uh, by default, the layout that it's using, it's just using um, uh, uh, this default layout where it's taking each plane and just stacking them on top of each other. So if we were to just grab uh, an island here, texture island, and then just move it, you can see that they're on top of each other. We can change our layout if we select this. Um, right now, Y is going to be on top. So if we select that island, you can see the Y, uh, positive Y is on top. So um, that's the texture layout uh, section for cubic, uh, cubic projections. Um, your texture support and your texture operator will both disappear once you freeze your object. So if we select our object and hit freeze, you can see both are gone. But if you were to select your object, you can see that um, the UV projection is still here. So if we go inside your texture editor, um, you still um, have the ability to manipulate your UVs. A common um, problem uh, new, newer users come across uh, when doing uh, projections uh, with an XSI um, is the notion of multiple projections. So if I were to select my object and just go to property, um, let's just do cylindrical, um, it, it's going to generate an entirely new texture property. So if I um, click on this and this, you can see that these are different properties. If you want to manipulate one property over the other, within the texture editor, you have a UVs drop down and you can pick which UV property you're manipulating. So you can see that these are completely different. Now, um, uh, the problem uh, the problem that comes into play is uh, if you're used to UVing within Maya, um, uh, the typical workflow is grabbing uh, the faces you're going to want to manipulate or apply uh, the uh, apply a projection onto. So if I wanted to manipulate, if I wanted to have uh, a certain type of projection on here uh, within this UV property, I, w um, I would think I would select the faces and go to property, texture projection, and do whatever projection. Uh, in this case, again, it's just going to make an entirely new uh, property. Uh, so, if I wanted to do something like that, 
where I want to uh, I want to uh, apply projection onto that selection I still make my selection 3d and then I would just go inside and do a uh, sub projection within a, uh, within the texture editor so if I were to go under tools I can pick my texture uh, my uh, texture projection sub projection so I can go ahead and click that and I get a window that says hey uh, how do you want to align your projection I usually pick best fit Softimage usually does a great job at that and um, I get this texture uh, support and you can see it's only mani uh, manipulating those points that are um, that are associated with it so that's the equivalent of selecting faces within Maya and applying a projection onto that